Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to buy weekly contest 66 Q2. Minimum number of buckets required to collect rainwater from houses. So I, I think I'm, I'm a little bit slow on this one. It took me about seven, eight minutes almost, um, which is slower than a lot of people. Um, but yeah, so this problem, um, I would say if um yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord especially if you like doing contest problems come hang out and people paste their code get feedback etc um so come and come um uh, but yeah but for this one i knew it um i knew it was going to be greedy in a way um because basically you can enumerate the number of cases for this one right so so let's say you have Let's say you have these houses, right? And you have something like this. Um, well, if if you have an H, if you have a house which is going to be matched by two, you know, the the left or the right, right? Um, and then the question is, which one do we pick? Well, if the left is already picked, then we don't have to pick the right, right? That's obvious because you only need to pick once. But let's say this is not picked. Then what happens? Well. If this is not picked, then we always want to pick the right because um, we always want to pick the right because, you know, um, yeah, we always want to pick the right because it means that in a greedy way, it may contribute to another thing later. Like this could be a, another dot, for example, but it, but this is still optimal because not knowing what's going forward, this is good, right? So that basically is all the cases. And if you enumerate it, you can kind of do a greedy on it. And that's basically my idea. So looking at the code, um, we just basically the first thing I do is I enumerate all the impossible cases. Um, basically, if, if it has one character and it has H, then it's no good. If it has two characters, or if it starts with H, then HH, that means that the left H is boxed in, so that's no good. Same logic with the um, HH on the end, um, still no good. Um, and then also, if there's H in which the mo uh, uh, it's it's boxed in by the other two houses, also negative one. So you can kind of prove to yourself that these are all the cases that are impossible. And then this is the greedy part, right? Um, and and I, like I said, the greedy part is basically... Um, Okay, so if, if this is if this house is taken care of by the house on the left, if this is taken um, care by the house on the left, then we use the house on the left. Oh, sorry, by the um, by the bucket on the left. Left, use the bucket on the left. So we don't. So this doesn't add any count. Um, while here, okay, we still need um um we still need to be taken care of um so okay so there are two cases here right if this is not used if this is not used that means that now either the previous is an age so you have this situation going on or you have this situation going on right um so it's one of these two uh or it's mm, wait wait what yeah, actually one of these three, I guess. Um, yeah, if this is used, that means that, yeah. Um, so we have to take care of it. And then we, if this, the next one is um, period, if they, the next one's a bucket, that means that it's one of these two. If it's one of these two, then we have to fill out the, or we should ideally fill out to the right anyway, which is what we talked about, right? So then just take care of it. Um, if... So this take care of these two cases. So the only case that's remaining here is that this is the case, and then we have to fill out the previous period anyway. So that's basically the idea that I have. It's way greedy, and the, the way that I would say how this greedy worked, the proof of greedy, the way that I did it is by exhaustive proving every possible case. Because if you can see, um, if, there, if there is a... a this thing, there's really only four cases of how to break it down. Um, and of course, whether the previous is used, so eight cases maybe. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's not a great explanation, but sometimes these greedy problems are really hard. Um, and to be frank, the way that my intuition worked for this problem is that I've seen similar problems in the past with these 1D uh, things where you have to kind of match 
things to the left or things to the right. And this is the general idea. Um, but the proof, if you really want to have proof, is sometimes just by exhaustion, right? By looking at every possible case. Um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, in terms of analysis, um, the way that I did it is with... Um, the way that I did it is by using a used array. So this is going to be linear space. And of course, I do a few linear scans uh, or two linear scans. So that is going to be a linear time. So the way that I did it is going to be linear time and linear space. Um, of course, if you're really careful, you can actually do this in, in uh, all of one space. Um, and the, the way that you could do it by all of one space is by noticing that we only look at I minus one, right? And I plus one um, and setting it. So you only really need three variables um, as you scan. So you can do it that way, but during contest time, it's just um, I didn't want to think about it uh, and getting off by one or something like that. So this is more easy, easier um, and I can just count it afterwards, right? But you can be done in all one space if you're really careful and if you have more time. Um, this is contest code, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. And you can watch me solve it live in the contest next. Um, I do try to do a couple of ways about it because um, I was trying to put these cases in here. Um, but instead, I just kind of took it out to make it easier uh, for me to kind of think about it in isolation, right? Because otherwise, there's just so many possible uh, if statements. So, uh, and you can kind of see me struggle through that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have. And you can watch me solve it live during the contest next.
just why I'm just double checking. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, the explanation. How did you do? Did, um, yeah, everything you like. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Have a great weekend or whatever day it is when you're actually watching. Um, to good mental health and take care. Bye-bye.